up the coast, just in the Shellhaven River. Um, howling westerly at the moment. I've just launched from the boat ramp back down over there. I've never fished here before. Looks like a nice little sand flat over here at the mouth of this first creek. It's probably a little bit windy for potties, but hopefully I can find some nippers. The first sand island I came to, I just stopped and had a quick go for some nippers and potty mullet. I still got my potty mullet trap out. I was pretty successful with the nippers. Got a fair few nippers. That'll do me for the day. I got some soft baits to flick and some nippers to run for now. I still got my potty mullet trap out, so I'll go back and check that in 20 minutes time or so. The plan to start with is just to run down the edge of this island, just flick some soft baits and drag a nipper out the back of the boat. I'll do that for 15, 20 minutes. If I don't have any luck, then I'll change positions and go try something else. But we'll get fishing, see what happens. I'm only gonna have the one chest view camera today. My other camera's playing up, so just keep that in mind. Just running a little circle hook today for me nippers and potties like always is anyone on the hook just like so i'm gonna run a real light drag and i'm just gonna cast him down current so i've got wind against current here at the moment pretty much perfect for soft baiting also not too bad for bait fishing like this super light drag keeps everything in a nice straight line just pop that one in the back of the rod holder. I'll get me soft bait set up out. Might just start with one of these, one of Rick's fish on plastics and a nine and a half centimeter fat grub. UV enhanced. Just gonna run that on a, it's a one o hook in a quarter ounce. As you can see, got a fair bit of current here, just coming off this sand flat in front of us, dropping into a bit of a hole. Pretty strong currents just here where I'm fishing. Probably a bit stronger than what I would actually go for, but I'm just fishing here because like I said, my bait trap's still out. So just gonna give it a go here and see what happens. So here's the little island where I got my, just down along the far edge there is where I got my nippers. And I also set up my potty trap on that far edge. It's only a little tiny island, maybe half of a football field. Little creek mouth into here. I don't think that leads too far up there. It's quite shallow. Just have a cast up wind, just mix it up, spread my cast around a bit. I've found leader on to go with this little circle hook. Oh no, we haven't got anything. There you go. Jeez, it's quiet. I know if you had a nipper on like that back home, it wouldn't last very long in a spot like this. The current's starting to run pretty hard now, so I'm moving pretty fast with the current. I'm just going to go check my potty trap before I lose my sandbank and can't follow my footprints back to it. So. Alright people, no luck with the potties, not a single bit of bread has gone out of the trap. I haven't had a hit on any of my nippers, I've had two nippers out and no real bites down around this area. I'm just going to move up the system. I'll go over and check these channels out that I was looking at the other day that lead into another part of this system. I'm going to head over to the south side of the river. Just drifting across this, there goes a flathead right there. Come from right there. there. This shallow weed section, just looking for a few fish. Got a high vantage point just standing on the bow of the boat. So there's some fish here. So I've just thrown my nipper back out. Just drifting down into this little zone that I was just talking about a second ago. There's my sinker with my nipper underneath it. Nipper hasn't been touched. It's time for a time for a location change. So I've just come up into this lakey sort of system. Just gonna fish this little section here. Looks alright, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the system, so it's good a spot as any at the moment. I feel like the wind, current, everything's pushing down this little straight, so we'll just see how we go. I was just thinking, coming up in here might have been a mistake. The water's not warmer, it's still only 14 and a half degrees up in here. Just going to make my way out of this little section. It looks, looks very shallow. Um, 
I don't know my way around in here. It's high tide at the moment, but I don't know if I'll be able to get back out at low tide or a lower tide, so. So I am actually fishing the run in tide. I wouldn't normally fish this tide. I would normally fish the run out tide. I find it more productive and then the bottom of the tide change, but um, as time and demands dictate, this is the day I've got to go fishing so I can make, and this is the time. So I have to make do with what I've got. It's um, not the world's best day. It's pretty tough, but it's good to have a bit of an explore around and see what's what. I would have thought I'd have a few fish in the boat by now, but not wasn't not to be at the moment, so might just head out of this section and go try something else. Alright, so I'm just gonna try this little back eddy here. The tide's pushing up in here, there's a couple of rivers meet here. Looks like there's a little back eddy on the inside corner here. I'm just gonna try that. But this nice little glassy spot. Will Hopefully it'll be holding some fish. Just gonna pop me nipper out there on the bank. The nipper's actually picked up a fish. Finally, I've caught a fish. It's no record breaker, but the nippers actually come through with a fish for us. It's took it taken pretty much hours. I was just about to pull the pin and go out wide chasing snappers. Go flick some plastics on some inside reefs out there. And then I went to pick up my nipper rod to wind it in and it hit it. So I'll have one more little quick drift in this same little spot where I just was. And then I'll go out chasing some snappers. Here's a little flatty. I'll sort him out and then I'll, uh, Get back to you. 44 centimetres, gonna keep him for a feed. We'll chuck him in the esky, take him home with us. It's a start. Nothing fantastic, but. <laughs> So I've just come outside, there was some bait here on the sounder a second ago, just on this little bommy. Just going back around, just going to have a quick drift over it, flicking the plastic. I did see a, one of these birds dive a second ago, and that's what made me sort of have a look at this little section. And there's some stuff coming back through the sounder there now. Oh, I just had a little hit. Tiny, tiny little bump. All right, guys, I've just hooked an absolute donkey of a snapper or something, I think. 
I can't turn it. I've just changed to a five inch, five inch nuclear chicken. Oh, this is going to be my last cast. I was just about to move locations and go to a different reef. There's heaps of bait here. I haven't been able to put a hook into a fish, but now I've hooked this one. Just got to be careful I don't get on him too quick. Haven't even had a bite or anything. I've just changed. This is my first cast with the nuclear chicken in the five inch. This is a slab. This is going to be a real big fish. This is going to be a tank. He's hardly even fighting me over there. He's just sitting there. When he wants to take line, he's just easily doing it. I'm not going to go any hard on him. I'm glad I've actually got 20 pound leader. I'm in about 40 foot of water. I'll turn, turn this motor off. It doesn't seem to be doing, going as nuts as he was there a second ago. I was a little bit worried. There's just nothing but weight. I can feel every little lunge. This thing's a horse. This is going to be a PB snapper, I reckon. If this is a snapper, this is going to be my new PB. First time fishing straight off the front of the mouth. Just a few birds bombing. So I couldn't, I just thought, well, have a quick go. Found some bait on the sounder. I really want to get a look at this fish, hey. This is where it's just going to take a long time. I've only got 10 pound braid, 20 pound leader. Just using a heavy jig head, so I don't even have an extra heavy jig head on there. This thing's going to be a slab. Sorry about the camera angle, I don't really have a choice of where this fish is coming up. I don't want to pull too hard on him. He doesn't want to come to the boat, that's for sure. He's not going quite as nuts as I thought he would. Work out what I'm going to do with this fish. There's a heap of crew up here. All our families are here having a week a week away. All my partner's family's here. I don't know whether I'll keep this fish or let him go. Glad I'm going to have it all on footage. Please let me catch this fish. Please let me catch him. Oh. Something just popped. Something definitely just popped. Oh, oh. felt like it popped again. Oh, it's going to be a donkey. Wonder if this is even going to be a snapper. This could possibly be a big shark. This is a tank. This is an absolute tank of a fish. Please, please fishing gods, let me catch this fish. I'm just gonna try and get back over the top of him a bit again, just in case he tries to reef me. I can't believe this was going to be my last cast, then I was about to move locations. And then, bang, I've hooked this horse. Absolute stonker. No other snappers 
or fish, no other bites at all other than this thing, whatever it is. First bite of the afternoon out here. Struggled in the river. Kind of back over the top of him now. I really struggled in the river. Today I got that one flat head. Had nippers out all day, hardly got a bite. I've come out the front here. Been here for maybe 15 minutes. First cast on the bigger 5 inch nemesis from the nuclear chicken. I was using just the oh, just the watermelon pearl there for a while. I really don't like being sort of having this guy behind. But there's just so much weight there. Just enormous amounts of weight. If this is a snapper, I just, I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know what else would take, maybe a big groper, but I thought he would have reefed me or something by now. This is gonna be my PB snappers for sure. I'll spew and I'm only gonna have this one angle. There he is. Oh, he's a horse. <laughs> Sick! Oh, don't know if he's my PB, but man, he is a chunker. Oh, get a shot of that in case he gets away. Oh, sick. There you go, guys. That's how you feel a net one fish. Sick. Epic epic session you couldn't have been happier with that well pretty stoked with that hey i'm gonna get him out give you a look i've just changed camera angles spewing i've only got the one gopro no second gopro at the moment oh look at that thing for a beast of a fish is that a snapper can't even fit it in the camera I don't want to go too far back. I'm sitting on the... Oh, I've missed the gun on the boat. There he is. You Stoked. It's probably going to be about that four and a half, five kilos. Not a PB. Went pretty hard. Going to keep that one for a feed for the crew. First fish. If I get a few more decent ones, I'll let them ones go. Or if I get a few more fish, I'll let them go. This will be our feed. We'll cook him up. I'll do a feed for everyone tomorrow night before Origin. No, I won't have to worry about keeping any fish tomorrow that way. It can all be about catching slaying snappers. I'd be very surprised if I can better that. So I'll have a, we'll measure him. There you go, guys. Tail open. He is just a nudge over 70. Cracking fish. Phew. I'm pretty bloody stoked with that. Hey, all those, those hours spent up the river waiting for this wind to drop off. Um, just thought I'd come out for a little bit of an explore. Late Arvo and bang. 15 minutes later, I'm catching a 70 centimetre flathead. A 70 centimetre snapper. Winning. I haven't got any more of the five inch. So I've just gone to the four inch, same nemesis nuclear chicken um, I have noticed but since I caught that fish that the birds have sort of eased up and the bait sort of stopped milling around a bit so I don't know if that was the one big fish that was chasing all that bait around because they weren't jumping out of the water often but when they did they really got on the go so I think he's probably preying on those you would think there would be more here I would have thought there would have been a couple of them here if you get one you usually get more if I pull another fish like that oh man what an afternoon
Look at something small on. Feels like a little tiny snappers. Oh no. Oh yeah. Power hook the slimy. There's a bit of fresh bait for tomorrow. Well that's it folks, I've been summoned in. Um, heading back to look after the kids for a bit in the Arvo. I'm gonna come out early in the morning again, so that first spot I just caught that big snapper, that'll be my first spot I try in the morning. Um, fingers crossed. I can pull another one of them off there. Still heaps of bait on the sounder. Plenty of bait coming across there. Just mapping a little bit more of the reef out before I go in. Just taking a different path. A few ledges, more bait. That one looks like it's got fish hanging on it. These fish are predators, this one's bait, I reckon. But there is a lot of slimies, I reckon. There's a lot of slimies hanging around. But there is that odd big predator fish, which I've proven by catching that big ass snapper. You! We're just out this morning with Guy and Scott. A couple of Westies come over to get some snappers. Um, they're just holidaying. Could brought them out in the boat, have a crack with some fish. Guy runs the sport shop out home. And Scotty, I'm not, you're a farmer, eh, Scotty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get some fish. A little tiny snapper. I forgot to hit the record button because I'm an idiot. Too busy talking. I'm going to send him on his way. First snapper for the morning. We've just moved to a new spot. Scotty's come through with the goods. First snapper had a Scotty oh, and yeah, Guy. Oh, I feel <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster! It might not be too bad a one. Oh, you're off. There you go. Better get, make sure we get your first fish. It'd be legal if you want to keep him. You feel like keeping a few for a feed? Depends on what you want to take with you, really, I guess. Oh, I suppose I might as well keep yeah, him. Like no, yeah, yeah, I reckon he'd be probably something like that. 33, 34, 35, and that's like tail open. Oh, guy's got one. Oh, that's a better one. This guy's got one. I've got a better one. No, it's a parrot fish. Yeah, I don't usually keep them. Where's that net? You might just have to lift your rod up for a sec, guy. A similar size to the other one. They're different colours, those pinky ones. Uh, yeah, it depends on where they're hanging out, whether it's on sand or on weed. There's 34. Oh, yeah, I don't really. Just flick your bail on over and I'll put him on the ground. Oh, dropped him. Oh, it's all right. It's Sergeant Baker. Yeah, it's another, another mother-in-law fish. If anyone knows what happened to that fish, if anyone knows what the hell that thing is, it's like a like a flathead has a rock cod or something, and that's the result. <laughs> I've never seen one of them in my life. If you know what that is. Let me know in the comments. <coughs> Guy's just making the show right here, right now. <laughs> Guy's feeling a little bit under the weather. We better... We, we better take old mate back in, I think. <laughs> you right, man? Yep. Yeah. I'll run you back in, eh? Yeah, yeah. Got what I think is a banjo on at the moment. 
We're just chasing flathead. It's been pretty tough. Scott's just caught a banjo. Guy's gone back to the boat ramp with seasickness. Yeah, generally the way. There'd probably be more of them, I would say. Hey, fish. Some fish. Why'd you have a fish on that? You see a fish on the sand, I think. Oh, yeah, there was a couple of little, little things came across the bottom. It was more than I've seen for a while, to be honest. <laughs> Still not that deep here, eh? Tough. It just must be just run out quite flat for a long way. Have you got one? Nothing big. Nothing big, but... Might be a legal flatty. Might be a start. I've got that flathead down there. It might be an alright fish. 40 centimetres or so. Just lift him straight in. Ha ha! That's the one. Where's my one? Yes. Yeah. I've had a big monster flat it. <laughs> if it is, it's foul hooked and pretty solid. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, we'll get your bait back down. Smash a few more in the next half an hour, hopefully. Oh no, he might be a flathead. Just foul hook, decent size one. Oh nice. Don't know why we're fucking half a dozen of these crabs with you. Turn out pretty good size one. Cracker. Beautiful. Ew! <laughs> Finally! Didn't have a oh. camera. <laughs> oh it is on, it is on. Oh. We've I just haven't been talking sh the whole time. Been filming for 20 minutes. <laughs> that worked out well. Finally onto a couple of good fish. Finally got onto a couple of all right flathead. Um, there's a pigeon pair. One's oh, 49, the other one's about 53. Only been at this new spot for maybe five minutes. We've just moved out a bit wider. We're sitting in, what are we sitting in? 101 foot, pretty much straight off that mountain there. Our boat ran back down that way. Yeah, 100 foot. Seen a couple of fish come across the sounder, so we thought we'd give it a go, and straight away we've caught a couple. Scotty's got another one. It'll be another decent, not as big as the first two. Still for decent size, going to be legal. Just lift him straight up and in the boat. Oh, oh no. fuck it. Oh, doesn't matter. We'll get another one. Was he a decent? He's a decent size one too, eh? Yeah, he's all right. Just sabotaging you, mate. Can't have you come on me show and catch more <laughs> fish than me. Oh, bugger. Anyway. Well, that's it for another flax fishing adventure. A uh, bit a bit slow today on the flathead and snapper. We got a couple of little snappers earlier on. We found a couple of flathead. We got two good ones and we dropped a third one, but all in all, it's been pretty tough. The wind's dropped right out now. There's no breeze. We're not really moving at all. There's no drift. So we've got to be back for lunch before the wives kill us. So we're heading in. Catch us next time. Pew.